Success Stimulator. Knowledge Sharing, on Health, Wealth, Statistics and Leadership Skills. Hi friends. Welcome to Learning Friday. Do consider to subscribe this video. We assure you that you will definitely like this video and have some learning on the given topic. Let's get into today's topic. In this video we are going to discuss about NPS, Net Promoter Score. In a nutshell, Net Promoter Score has proven to be, reliable predictor of, future business growth, based on customer satisfaction. Following are the topics we will discuss in this video. Understanding Net Promoter Score. How to measure NPS. Calculation to arrive Net Promoter Score. What is good and bad NPS score? What is the industry average? Finally, quick recap. Alright. Let's get started. Net Promoter Score, NPS, is a metric that is based on a single survey question. Respondents to rate the likelihood, that they would recommend a company, product, or a service, to a friend or colleague or to anyone. NPS has proven to be, a reliable predictor of future business growth. How to measure NPS. Net Promoter Score, is a way of measuring customer satisfaction. Or a widely used instrument for measuring customer loyalty and practice. Customer will rate any organization in the scale of 1 to 10. The NPS customers are categorized into three groups. 1. Promoters. 2. Passives. 3. Detractors. Promoters, score of 9 and 10, represent a company's most enthusiastic and loyal customers. These people are likely to act as brand ambassadors, enhance a brand's online reputation, and increase referral flows, helping fuel the company's growth. Detractors, score of 0 to 6, are unlikely to recommend a company or product to others, probably won't stick around or repeat purchases, and, worse, could actively discourage potential customers away from a business. Passives, score of 7 or 8, are not actively recommending a brand, passives are very close to being promoters. Particularly when they give a score of 8, so it always makes strategic sense, to spend time investigating, what to do to win them over. They are not included in the NPS calculation. Let's look at the next topic. How to calculate and measure net promoter score. Total percent of promoters, minus, total percent of detractors equals net promoter score. The total percent of people who would recommend your brand, minus, the total percent of those who wouldn't, equals, your net promoter score. For example, 70% promoters, 10% detractors equals 60 is your NPS score. What is a good, NPS score? NPS score will range between, minus 100 to plus 100. In this case, any score above zero, reads as good because it indicates that, a business has more promoters than detractors. Top-notch companies generally have an NPS of 50 and above, but if you're thinking this is the domain of big, global companies only, think again. In 2018, Netflix had an NPS of 64, PayPal scored 63, Amazon 54, Google 53, and Apple 49. A perfect score of 100, indicates that every survey respondent would recommend a company to someone else, a score that nobody has ever achieved. What is a bad NPS score? Any score below zero indicates, or any negative score, that a business has more detractors than promoters. Here's where industry NPS benchmarks like the ones mentioned above are useful. While an NPS score of minus three may seem bad in isolation, it's hard to interpret it without comparable scores from key industry players. If the industry average was minus 10, suddenly the score would not look as bad. This said, even if the bar is set low, a negative NPS is a sign that a business has some serious work to do to improve the situation, reduce the number of unhappy customers, and generate more promoters. What is the industry average? Score of 35 to 50 is considered to be an industry average. However, as I explained, any score above zero reads as good, because it indicates that a business has more promoters than detractors. In the US, customer experience leaders enjoy an NPS that is 21 points higher than the NPS of customer experience laggards. Google's net promoter score is a 44 with 64% promoters, 16% passives, and 20% detractors. HDFC Bank's net promoter score is a 36 with 57% promoters, 10% passives, and 21% detractors. All right. Let us quickly have a recap. In a nutshell, Net Promoter Score, or NPS, is a way of measuring customer satisfaction. Customer will rate any organization in the scale of 1 to 10. The NPS customers are categorized into three groups. 1. Promoters. 2. Passives. 3. Detractors. How to calculate and measure net promoter score. 
total percent of promoters, minus, total percent of detractors equals net promoter score. NPS score will range between minus 100 to plus 100. In this case, any score above zero reads as good because it indicates that a business has more promoters than detractors. All right, I hope you have got some fair idea about net promoter score, NPS. We shall discuss more techniques in our upcoming videos. Please share your comments and suggestion for improvement. Also, share it with your friends, family members and knowledge seekers. At last, thanks for watching.